Hello everyone, please welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my Hummer H2 Sat. This is year model 2007. Engine light came on. I'm going to run the scanner and I'll show you what the issue is and how we're going to fix it. So without wasting any time, let's get started. As you can see that uh, engine light is on. I'm going to plug my scanner and I'm going to test it what is the issue why I'm getting the engine light. So as you see there are two codes are appearing. So we're going to read the code and we'll see what the problem is. It says the heater control circuit bank 1 sensor 2. The code reference to bank 1 which is a driver side and bank 2 is a passenger side. And sensor 2 means downstream. The sensor 1 is upstream and so we have driver side oxygen sensor is bad. So I'm going to replace it and I'll show you. So easy to do it. So this is the oxygen sensor after the catalytic converter. This is the downstream. So we're going to open it. We're going to use the 7-8 wrench and we're going to crank this one open. You have to pry it a little hard because they've been sitting there for a long time. So as you can see, it just opened up. So once this one is loose, you follow the wiring and that comes down right here. And we need to open this safety pin. Once you pull the safety pin, after taking the safety pin, this is the connector, you pull this one up and then you take it out. I took it out and uh, this is the new oxygen sensor. I'll list the part number under my description in case if you need one. And now we're going to tighten this uh, oxygen sensor and uh, please make sure that uh, don't uh, plug in the connector. Once it's fully tightened, then we're going to plug in the connector. So now we'll go back and uh, we're going to install our sensor. Now we're going to install the new sensor. Once we install the new sensor, make sure that don't over tight. And now we're going to plug in the wiring right in here. Once we plug it in, then I'm going to put in that safety pin. The connector is snugly fit and we put that safety pin. Now we're going to test the vehicle. After installing the new oxygen sensor, we plug in the scanner again and now we're going to raise the code. So the code's cleared and that's it. And now we're going to go back and test it. So now I'm going to Start my Hummer, drive it for 15 to 20 miles and then I'll test it again. And as you can see there is no codes. And I'll show you if the job is successful. After resetting the codes and if we look at on the instrument cluster panel, the engine light is no longer there. So I'm going to drive 15 to 20 miles and then I'll see and test it again if it appears again. Once we cleared the engine light, after that I drove for two days and uh, drove over 100 miles and the engine light hasn't come on. So that means uh, the oxygen sensor was a success job. That was how easy to change the downstream oxygen sensor. Due to that bad sensor, the engine light came on. So now there is no more engine light. That was a success job. If you like this video, like always, like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.